And as you may know, if you follow textbook battles around the country, that Texas is very, very important because the state of Texas, a big market for uh, school book publishers, the state of Texas adopts school books for all districts across the state. So, that's, so whatever those textbooks say, the publishers know they've got a big sale and that influences markets around the country. For the last 20 years, the scientific standards have said, teach the controversies about science. And what that boils down to mean is, you can't teach just evolution, you've got to teach the doubts, the problems with evolution. Fifteen members sit on the State Board of Education, and the scientific standards were up for renewal this last year. But lo and behold, too many people on that school board had been reading too many articles in the New York Times about the backward nature of Texas teaching its kids that there are doubts about the theory of evolution. Not to fear, we all thought, because there was a three-vote majority of Republicans on that 15-member school board. Well, lo and behold, the Republicans were reading those stories too, and in a first preliminary vote, they voted to change the standards to stop talking about the problems with evolution by a vote of eight to seven. It was a stunner. And of course, the elite communities, the press, the media applauded the state school board of education for their enlightenment. And then the Family Policy Council went to work, as these organized organizations do, by telling people, organizing people, getting people to let their voices be heard. The Texas Free Market Foundation is a Family Policy Council in the state of Texas. And the uproar that ensued before the second and final vote was taken was a din that even the enlightened members of the Texas State School Board could not ignore. They were fearful for their own political futures because these are elected members of the uh, State School Board. When the dust settled, when the people spoke, the school board voted 13 to 2 to continue to teach the doubts about evolution. And it was thanks primarily to the fine work of the Free Market Foundation. Please welcome the president of the Free Texas Free Market Foundation, Mr. Kelly Shackelford. Now that you're thoroughly confused by the media, uh, now let me start by saying thank you. Um, this, it's very humbling, especially for me, because uh, my staff you know, did all the work on this. I did very little. Uh, and to have great people that you work with uh, means a lot. And, and I want to thank my board. I know. I know the Browns are here. Dale and Rita, will you stand up? Uh, I don't know if any of my other board members are in here. You stand up, too. I know Dale and Rita are here. <laughs> there are a lot of family policy councils in here, and guys like us might be the ones to stand in front of the camera, but we wouldn't do anything without our boards. And uh, so I want to thank all of you who are in here. You're serving on a board of one of these family policy councils. You know that uh, you're the engine that really drives and controls and decides with wisdom uh, what those family policy councils do. Uh, my staff is really excited. Um, they are like, you are going to bring the award home, aren't you? And, no, I'm going to hide it in my house. You know, and they're like, but they're, they're really excited because Focus on the Family uh, just has such a great level of respect. And for our organization to get this award, it just, it, they're really proud. Uh, and very humbled. So I just want to start off by saying thank you. This evolution battle was really fierce. Um, and I got to tell you, it was really a lot of fun to win. Uh, and I say that because it looked completely impossible that we would win. Uh, what essentially happened, but God had a plan all along. We just didn't know. We were just doing everything we could. Um, there was a vote to take out our standards, which have been in place for 20 years, which said if you teach a scientific theory in the state, you teach the strengths and weaknesses of that theory, whatever it is. 
And we had left-wing crazy people who came in and said, well, we don't want that done because then you'll have to teach weaknesses of evolution. And you're like, well, science questions things. You know, we teach strengths and weaknesses of everything. We're not going to throw out our science standards because you don't like evolution. Um, and so we were shocked when all of a sudden they got an 8-7 to seven vote in Texas. Um, and so we got to work, and, and what happened is you had a month before the next vote. And so we really, you know, sent the word out and alerted people and talked to pastors and did everything we could. And what ended up happening is at the second vote, we lost again eight to seven. And we thought, it's over. Uh, There's another vote 24 hours later that was a third kind of a perfunctory vote that really was kind of a rubber stamp. But what happened is at that point, you know, we did everything we could. We had uh, press conferences, the New York Times there was all this stuff. We'd send out emergency calls. And basically what happened is God unleashed his people. And they were faithful. And, I mean, we had people calling the state board members pastors, calling their homes. Uh, and all of a sudden, my director of legislation, who you saw there on the camera, uh, was over in a corner of the room with one of the swing boats. And she was being berated by liberals who'd come in from out of state and in state. And I wrote down, because I, I wanted to remember to say exactly, he said, this is what he heard her say. You do not understand the pressure we're under. I have no choice. And all of a sudden, everything changed. Uh, they came out with new language. It didn't use the word strengths and weaknesses. It said uh, everything had to be critically, uh, uh, you know, had to be criticized, open to criticism and inquiry and question, all kinds of language that was even stronger than just strengths and weaknesses. And, uh, and boy, the liberals were fuming mad uh, as they screamed at these people. But it was clear that out of nowhere, everything changed on a dime. And when we thought it was over, I mean, it was shocking, but it, it was God. And uh, we just kind of stood there with our mouth open and said, praise the Lord. Uh, and the incredible thing to me about this was we've had another situation just as I come here. We are now doing our social studies standards and textbooks. And again, these end up affecting the whole country. Well, the writing panel came up with a brilliant idea that in the section dealing with the religious holidays, that we need to remove, and they removed Christmas and replaced it with Diwali. Because we needed a Hindu holiday, and that Christmas holiday is not anything we really need to cover anymore. Evidently, it's not one of the big religious holidays. Um, well, we shot out an alert this week. We talked to the press. We started to get the word out on this again. And uh, they had the first meeting last night of the State Board of Education. They were just supposed to bring this up. They're not voting on this for a month. And what happened was the first person to start out was the head of the writing committee. And she started off by saying, well, things have gotten pretty heated up in the last couple of days. I've gotten a call from my mother who told me, what are you doing? <laughs> and that was followed by the State Board of Education, who aren't voting on this for a month. They wanted to make clear at the meeting last night that not a single school board member will support this change of the writing of committee of taking Christmas out. <laughs> so my point is, you know what? The people really do control this country. And uh, you really can make a difference. And with God's power and his grace, you can turn something that looks completely hopeless. When all the votes are against you, uh, if the people and if God's people are unleashed, they can turn a situation completely around. So be encouraged. Uh, go back and cause similar trouble in your own states. Uh, and uh, again, I just want to thank Focus on the Family. This is really an honor. God bless you.